Affinity Designer allows you to turn objects into something called symbols. And you can do that by going up to the View menu, dropping down to the Studio item, and then selecting um, Symbols. And you'll see it brings up a floating palette. I'm going to go ahead and drag that into my uh, existing palettes. I've already got one in there, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that by uh, right-clicking on it, not choosing Select. And I'm going to create a simple object. Uh, so to begin with, I'm going to drag a box out here. Uh, let's go ahead and give that a color. Fill it with a gradient, probably. I'll make that a little yellow. I'm going to go ahead and select the other color. Yeah, that works for me. I'm going to close the gradient palette out. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that with the uh, gradient tool. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, I want to go ahead and select my move tool again and under the color palette I'm going to turn off the uh, stroke color. I could do that over here uh, under the color palette or I could have done that up here at the top. Um, for me it's simpler just to select the color chip, hit the no, and then we've removed our stroke. I'm going to drag out another shape here, just give it a simple, again creating just a really simple design. I'm um, going to go down here to my shape tool. I'm going to drag out a uh, shape holding the um, shift key to restrain that or constrain that I should say. The colors are less important to me here because I'm going to actually cut these out. I'm going to select all of the objects. I can go ahead and drag around. Oops, Command Z. Uh, select the layer. Yeah, I got to turn off that select. So over here on the right, uh, you've got a box that says Edit All Layers. I'm going to disable that. Select the layer that I want to work with, and just drag around that to select. Up here at the top, I'm going to select the subtract, and that subtracts it out. And then I'm going to add a little bit of text as well. That's pretty big, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Move tool, bring that down. I'm going to hold the Option key to constrain this. Okay, that's pretty basic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the uh, fill color, so I'm swapping the color chips here with the arrows. I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, oops, we got the stroke, let's say no to that. Select the foreground color. I think I'm actually going to fill that stroke, so let me grab the uh, color from here with the eyedropper tool. There we go. So you can see now we've got a, a pretty basic kind of logo. Uh, I'm going to select all of those objects. And then under the symbol uh, palette, I'm going to click Create. You can see it adds an object here. That actually added them as two objects, so I'm going to undo that. Let's see if we can add that as one. There we go. So all I did was uh, group the objects and then hit Create, and that combined them into one. Now I'm going to go ahead and position this, and I'm going to back out. As you can see here on the right-hand side, I've got three artboards. So let's go ahead and select my uh, middle artboard. There you go. Oops. I'm going to zoom in with Command Plus, and with this artboard selected, I'm going to drag and drop that in. I think we'll move it down here, just put it in a different position. I'm going to go to my third artboard. board. 
And with that artboard selected, I'm going to drag this out of the symbols palette and position that. Okay. Now we've got three distinct copies of the same object here. And for this middle artboard, I can always resize this holding the uh, option key. And that does not affect the other objects. However, if I go to my third artboard, I should be able to edit the color on that. And you can see that it's treating it like one object, so our text does not look great. But um, for that, we can go into our object, expand it over here on the right. I'm selecting the text. I'm going to go to the color up here. That color doesn't work for me for the uh, stroke, so I'm going to go ahead and select a, a white color. And you can see now it's, a, it's uh, updated on all of our symbols. And we can position that if we decide that uh, we want it to be a little more centered. You can see I positioned it here, but it adjusts all of the um, symbols on all of the artboards. Now, if you decide that you want a slightly different variant, you can disconnect it from your your original and you would do that by selecting on the uh, selecting on the object and then you click detach now if I go in and edit that particular item you can see that's kind of a purple so let's zoom in on that but our others stay the same. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.